Okay, here's the front panel for the E992 pass evasion system. The touch screen, I'll be pressing the start button here to start a process. That also opens a batch entry screen for entering in batch numbers. You see now the detergent starts to come into the tank, flood the tank from one of the uh, storage tanks. Um, we're pumping in from the alkaline storage tank in this step. This takes approximately a minute and a half uh, to fill the tank from the storage tanks. We have a series of air valves on the side of the process unit and uh, pumps and uh, closed loop filtration, uh, filtration on the storage tanks. Uh, you see there the air valves, uh, some of the air lines. Of course the tank is filling. Like I said, approximately a minute and a half the side of the unit there is the pH circuit for detecting pH and conductivity. This system uh, has three rinse water storage tanks. That's the third tank. They cascade to each other uh, with an initial, a secondary, and a third rinse tank. And uh, we're just about full uh, from the process unit, in the process unit from storage tank alkaline. Once the tank is full, it'll trip that upper float on the right there, and the cleaning, the ultrasonic cleaning step will take uh, place. Just, and you should hear that. And that high pitch is just the tuning of the ultrasonics. And now we're in the ultrasonic cleaning step. This would be, again, the side of the unit. There's the alkaline tank, the acid tank, and just a, a view of the tubing, the in and out tubing to all the tanks. Looks a little worse than normal just because this is in a test mode. Uh, you clean that up a little bit. Each tank has its own filtration system and pumps for pumping into the process unit. Of course, the process unit has pumps to return the fluids back to the individual storage tanks. On the side of the process unit there is the electrical connection box. These uh, tubes are connecting rinse tanks 1, 2, and 3 together for a cascade overflow to drain, so you get refreshing of the rinse tanks. After that cleaning step now, we're returning the fluid, draining it back to the alkaline storage tank. Again, takes about a minute and a half. We give it a little extra time on the drain to let the fluid in the bottom of the process tank um, drain completely. Once again, once the tank is drained, the PLC and the cycle continues on. We're only going to be showing the alkaline cleaning step here for uh, time constraint issues. <clears throat> This machine has a tumbler mechanism for parts rotation. The basket's not in, but that's the mechanism there on the right-hand side, the chain drive there. And closing the cover shows the exhaust plenum, which would normally be connected to a uh, flexible line to put it out of the building. Of course, we're still draining here and back into the heated storage tank. The tumbler mechanism has on the front there a rheostat to slow it down or speed it up. Filling and draining is detected by an in-tank float, which is right there on the right-hand side. There's an upper float for filling and a lower for draining. We've drained here now. I'll go ahead and uh, try to get a close-up on the, the drain float. which is a hooded float so that uh, you don't come in contact with it. So the float is inside that round hood shield. And that should be the end of that step. So that's the E992.